everybody. Welcome back to Grill and Feet. I'm Vanessa. Today I'm just going to try something completely new. Dessert inside the Pit Boss Grill. Uh, I decided to do some apple crisp. Um, not sure how it's going to turn out. I'm just going to make my regular apple crisp except instead of cooking in the oven I'm going to try to put it inside the Pit Boss. Um, because it's not going to cook very long or the smoke is not going to get inside the pie too much I'm also going to add uh, my amazing t uh, smoke tube smoker and I'll be using applewood pellets today. So uh, let's get to it. So let's just start off by saying look how dark it is already. I just can't believe it and it's not even five o'clock. Anyways, so we're gonna start by preheating the pit boss here. So we're gonna put it to smoke setting. Let that start preheating and let it do its smoke thing. In the meantime, because the pie is only going to be on for about 45 minutes to about an hour, um, it's not going to get much smoke flavor. So what I've done is I have my amazing smoke tube here and we're going to light that and let it smoke while it's also cooking on the grill. So while this is, while the grill is going to start kind of preheating, we're going to light the smoke tube. So I have my torch ready, we'll start heating up the pellets. We want to do this for about 45 seconds. Alright, so now that I got this nice and lit, we're going to let it uh, kind of smolder for about 10 minutes until we blow out the flame. the smoke is dissipated we're gonna preheat this to 350 as you can see there we're gonna close the lid and I'm just gonna move this just onto the ground all right let's go inside so it's been 10 minutes or so we're just gonna move this uh, right into the into the grill. So we'll just place that there. So as you can see, I've already kind of pre-prepped everything just to save some time on the video. Um, for the topping mixture, this one, I've done half a cup or 70 grams of flour, one cup of oats, half a cup or 110 grams of packed light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of salt, and then I've cubed a third cup of butter. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the gloves on and we're gonna start kind of mixing this all together. I did pre-mix all the dry ingredients before I did add the butter. And then so once you have that, you can go ahead and mix it all together. All right, so I just finished mixing that. As you can see, it's more crumbly uh, texture, so that's exactly what we want. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. So for the apple crisp today, we're gonna use the green Granny Smith apples. I uh, used four apples here. Depending on the size, you can do four to five. They're pretty large, so I did four. I peeled them and cored them and sliced them into about eighth of an inch thickness, maybe a little bit bigger. Now for the filling, I have here uh, two tablespoons of flour and we're going to add three tablespoons of melted butter and we're going to whisk until it's combined. Alright, now that it's combined, we are going to add the three tablespoons water, one tablespoon lemon juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, now we're just gonna whisk this until it's incorporated. Then we're gonna add this liquid to the apples and toss them.
Once they are tossed, we will then add the quarter cup of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one pinch of salt. Once you've added everything together, it should look like this. Uh, the filling is now done. Now we're going to transfer this into a greased pie plate. I've greased mine with just some uh, coconut oil spray. So we're going to dump this into that. All right, once you've added the apples to the pie plate, we're now going to add our topping to the apples. Uh, I did flatten my apples a bit just to make more room for the topping. So we're just going to... Pour it all on there. And then just with a fork, just spread it out evenly. All right, now this is ready to go on the barbecue. Okay, let's see everything's going, everything's preheated. All right, so we're gonna make sure we don't put it over the hottest part of the grill. So I'm just gonna put it about right here. All right, so we're going to close her up. Oh, I also want to point out that I am drinking a beer today. My uncle sent me a Snapchat of him opening his Parallel 49 craft beer av um, advent calendar, and it made me kind of crave beer. Uh, so I picked up this mixer of Sleeman's, and inside it was this new Sleeman Wheel Dog Winter Ale. It's actually really, really good, and I actually really enjoy it. So uh, if you're in BC, definitely try it out. Uh, if you can get it in other parts of North America, you got to try it out too. But I approve, definitely. So it's been one hour total. Let's take a look. up a little bit and move it back over. Move it over. I'm gonna turn this up to like 400. Maybe 15 more minutes. I'll get 15 more minutes and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay. it any browner so we'll take this off and bring it inside all right and there it is I actually just propped it uh, underneath the, the broiler inside the oven for like two minutes just to get a little bit brown on top but yeah uh, let's dig in and try this so I just kind of want to sum up the video I know I was kind of playing with the temperatures and the times and the placement of uh, the pie and everything like that and so I feel like okay just uh, keep the pie in the middle of the grill and then have the temperature set at 350 for an hour uh, Once the hour is up, you can probably just bring it in um, And just uh, broil it underneath the broiler for about five minutes until it becomes the golden brown I don't think you have to worry about turning up to 400 or cooking um, any more than an hour and uh, the broiler should just do very well All right now that's cooled down. Let's do the taste test. Honestly, it's really good. Tastes exactly like my apple crisp that I usually make except with just a hint of smoke flavor. The smoke isn't overpowering, really subtle and nice. I would definitely do this again. Yeah, awesome, totally good. If you wanna try it, um, I know that I kind of went over a lot of things really quickly in the video. Um, if you look in the description, I've left the entire recipe there if you wanna try to make it at home. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see my future videos, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, happy grilling.